Today, we're starting a full Garmin avionics install on my 1952 C-35 Bonanza. We'll fly the Bonanza down to San Diego, California, where we'll drop the airplane off at Neal Aviation to start the upgrade. Before we take off, let's take a look at the Bonanza's existing panel and avionics. While the existing avionics aren't original, they're also far from new. 2-1 Charlie has a lot of classic vintage Bonanza features, such as the throwover yoke, piano keys, and interesting panel layout with the radios all the way on the left. The radio stack includes a Garmin 250XL VFR GPS, a Narco Navcom, Collins audio panel, and a Garmin transponder. We have the typical six pack of instruments, and in the center we have our engine instrument cluster. On the right, we have our RPM and manifold pressure gauge, a fuel totalizer, and a single probe CHT EGT gauge. There's also a clock and our suction gauge. Virtually everything that you just saw in the existing panel is going to be replaced with new Garmin avionics. We'll be putting in three GI-275s, the GNC-355 GPS and COM, GNC-255 NAVCOM, GMA-345 audio panel, GTX-345 transponder, and of course the one and only GFC-500 autopilot with yaw damper. Additionally, we're going to be replacing some other outdated equipment such as replacing all the lights all around with new wheel and lights, getting new digital size fuel senders, and also replacing that clock you saw with a new digital clock from Midcontinent. With this install, we're adding a ton of capability to this airplane, but it's also really important to me to maintain the vintage feel of my old Bonanza. This is a 1952 airplane, so it has a lot of charm and character that you wouldn't find in an airplane today. Neil Aviation is not only going to install this long list of equipment, but they're also going to craft a panel that maintains the vintage feel of my Bonanza, so it still has that 1952 charm. There are so many other details about this install that we'll get to later in the video, but let's fire up the Bonanza and take our last flight with the old panel and get this install started. Is gonna give me a ride back and he's starting to go for me. Alright, last flight in here for a while. Seatbelts are secured, doors and windows are latched. We'll leave that open. Circuit breakers, check in, everything's in. Electrical switches are all off except for the nav lights and our beacon the avionics master is off. We're on the left tank, we're indicating the left tank. Canal flaps are open, carpet's off, make sure it's rich. Prop is auto, full forward, throttle, we're gonna give it three turns. Let's go. Clear! Check, check, hello. Probably want some noise canceling on. Camera airport information, Papa, one niner five five Zulu observation. Wind two three zero at niner, visibility one zero, sky clear. Camera ground, Bonanza five niner two one Charlie at the east end with information. Papa, ready for taxi eastbound departure. Bonanza five niner two one Charlie, camera ground, runway two six, taxi via Golf Alpha. Two six via Golf Alpha five niner two one Charlie. Happy fighting. Happy fighting. Today we are flying the Bonanza from Camarillo to Gillespie Field for avionics upgrades. Obviously. We're going to be taking the special flight rules area there. Special flight rules is just another way to navigate the LA Bravo. For southbound travel, we'll go at 3,500 feet. After that, we'll just fly along the coast all the way to Montgomery Field. Then we'll head east from Montgomery to Gillespie Field. We are going to do our run-up. So our fuel selector, we're on the left tank. We're indicating the left tank. Flight controls. Ground. Mixture is rich. Turn this up to take off. We'll bring all throttle up. We'll do a mag check. Looking good, and we'll also check our prop. Engine instruments, fuel is good. Oil temper pressure, both in green. Fuel pressure is good. That's good. CHT, fuel flow is good. RPM and minimal pressure as expected, and suction is good. We've got a coyote on the runway at airport off. Needs to take care of. Coyote on the runway. Ground 9830 Romeo is running complete. Yeah, Cessna. And as a 30 Romeo, thank you. Behind Cessna 4 Tango Alpha. Four tank off with three zero meal. Flight instruments check for set. Airspeed's good. Average indicator up with the finish set. To, uh, and this north is north set. Departure. Okay, flaps are set. Doors and windows again are latched. Lights are on. Gas is on the left tank, indicating left tank, 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 tank undercarriage. Flight indicator, mixtures full rich, prop forward, auto seatbelts just locked. Ground Bonanza 5 Manor 21 Charlie, run up complete. Bonanza 21 Charlie, thank you. Behind Bonanza 3 0 Romeo, taxing sequence, contact tower 1 number 1. Contact tower 1 number 1 behind the Bonanza 5 Manor 21 Charlie. 
Finn is a 9830 Romeo, Kimmy Tower, Holster, Romeo 26. Holster 26, 30 Romeo. Finn is a 30 Romeo, Romeo 26, quick takeoff right down, departure is approved. 26, quick takeoff right down, 30 Romeo. Cabrillo Tower, Bonanza 5921 Charlie, holding short, runway 26, ready for departure eastbound. Bonanza 5921 Charlie, Kimmy Tower, hold short of runway 26. Hold short, 26, 21 Charlie. Bonanza 21 Charlie, runway 26, clear for takeoff, right down, when departure is approved. 26, clear for takeoff, right down, when departure, 5921 Charlie. Final square, right square, Extend down. Extend down, 4 Mike, over. Bye, Cabrillo. Tower, this is 732, West Camp, Michael, initial 26, all far east, ready for east departure. A little bit of cross on correction there. Cessna 732, Whiskey Mike, Camry Tower, right down, departure approved, runway 26, clear for takeoff. Fresh both in the green. Clear for takeoff, runway 26, right down, departure approved, through Whiskey Mike. Good night, the 30 Romeo, traffic 12 o'clock is assessed uh, and entering the left island. There we go. Camry Tower, Bonanza 6601, November, inside right, of Hokies on the RNAV, Zulu for a full stop with Papa. All right, props to the back. Uh, Husky 91, Kilo Romeo. We're making a right cross the turn. Good night, the 30 Romeo, free exchange approved. Good night, the 30 Romeo. Rear tower, Cessna 4, Charlie 7.5, gaming east. Radio 26, 4, Charlie. Cessna 858, number 3, follow Bonanza, 4 mile final, runway 26, clear to land. Bonanza 21, Charlie, appreciate your See you later, 21, Charlie. Now we're going to pick up some flight following. For 1,500, climbing to 3,500. The go approach Bonanza 5921, Charlie, VFR request. Bonanza 5921, Charlie, go approach your request. Bonanza 5921, Charlie, just off of Camarillo, 1,700, climbing 3,500, looking for flight following to Gillespie, but Sierra Echo Echo at 3,500. Number 30 Romeo, radar contact, 3 miles northeast, Camarillo Airport, 3,100, indicated, Mugul Thunder, 3000. 000. 000, 30 Romeo. November 21, Charlie, Squawk 4625. 4625, 592, Charlie. There we go. Number 21 Charlie, where to contact 3 miles northeast Camera Airport, 2400 indicated, move altimeter 3000. 3000, Charlie. Number 30 Romeo, contact SoCal approach 134.2. 134.2, 30 Romeo, good day. Good day. There's 3500, so we'll go ahead and level off, pull some power back, and get our props set. This upgrade is going to be so, so nice. It's just going to be a completely different airplane. Number 21 Charlie, contact SoCal approach 134.2, good day. 134.221 Charlie, have a good one. SoCal approach Bonanza 5921 Charlie, 3500. Bonanza 5921 Charlie, SoCal approach Ribbing Gulf Center, 29096. How are you navigating to Gillespie today? 29096, and we'd like to take the special flight rules, 5921 Charlie. Imagine that. Bonanza 30 Romeo, contact, or er, correction, radar services terminated, squawk 1201, and change your advisor frequency is approved. 1201, good day, 30 Romeo. So the first checkpoint here on the Special Flight Rules area is Santa Monica. The 21 Charlie traffic no factor, radar service is terminated, clock 1201, change to advisory frequency is approved. Clock 1201, see you later, 5921 Charlie. Alright, we're now in the Special Flight Rules area. Taking it a little slower over these mountains just because it's a little bumpy. Coming up on Santa Monica. I am so excited to get this new panel. Right now, it's basically just a basic VFR flyer. You technically can take this airplane to IFR. Would I? Probably not in hard IMC for a number of reasons, one of them being just the capability of the avionics. Oh, a special flight rules area. 9930, Santa Monica, 3500 southbound. Special flight rules. I'm also so excited to get instrument current. Like, I love flying IFR, and I have not flown IFR Pretty much since I got my instrument rating back in 2019, so it's been quite some time. Having the new avionics will just make it so nice. So a lot of the things, like for example the autopilot, I've never really flown with an autopilot, so I don't really know what I'm missing out on, I guess. I think that that will become very apparent to me, like how nice it is to have an autopilot once it's in the plane. I think what I'm most excited about is the engine monitor, just to have all the information on all six cylinders and be able to view all three fuel tank values. I'm also excited just for better audio quality with the audio panel. There's just little weird things like that that I'm really excited are going to be fixed. Special flight rules, Bonanza 5902 and Charlie over Santa Monica southbound. Special flight rules. Graham's Bonanza is so much faster than mine, but it has a 520 in it. I have the E225, so he just, you know, he's like a rocker ship and I'm like a slightly slower rocker ship. <laughs> In a couple minutes, we're going to go ahead and switch from the aux tank from the left tank. So something interesting about the old Bonanzas is that you can only view one fuel tank level at a time. So you actually have to toggle which tank is shown with the piano keys. One switch toggles the left and right here, and then the aux tank is a separate toggle that actually takes precedence over the left and the right. A lot of Bonanza engine failures happen due to fuel starvation, which is not completely running out of fuel, but running out of fuel in the tank that's selected. 
and it's largely in part due to being able to only view one fuel tank at a time. Something I'm really excited about with this upgrade is actually getting an engine monitor where I can view all of the fuel tanks on the 275. It's just a huge safety improvement. All right, so we're going to go ahead and switch to the aux tank now. So we have fuel in there, make sure we have fuel in there, and then we're going to go ahead and switch the fuel selector over to the aux tank. Now we're passing Laguna Beach. I'm not exactly sure how long the plane will be down, but it's probably going to be about two to three months. We are 24 minutes out here. This is 2 Charlie, contact Gillespie Tower. Gillespie Tower, 2 Charlie, see ya. Runway 2 7 right, clear to land. When you said you had x-ray. Runway 2 7 right, clear to land, and affirmative, we have x-ray, 592 and Charlie. Alright, let's slow down and get the gear down. That might be a good idea. Props on auto, lights are on, we're on the left tank, we're indicating the left tank. Props coming back full forward, gears down, gears down, gas is on the left tank, indicating left tank, undercarriage, light indicator, mixtures full rich, prop full forward, auto, and seatbelts adjusted and locked. Gas is on the left tank, indicating left tank, undercarriage, light indicator, mixtures full rich, Alright, let's see. Cal flaps are coming to open. Our flaps are already up. Trim set for takeoff. Landing lights off. Taxi light on. We made it. Once I arrived at Neal Aviation, they quickly got started checking out the airplane. Dave, the director of maintenance, and James, a system design engineer, hopped into the Bonanza and we talked about the upgrade and I pointed out some of the quirks of the airplane. This wasn't actually the first time they'd seen the airplane. I flew the airplane down about a month prior so that Neal Aviation could get an idea of what they were working with and come up with a plan for the new panel. This was super nice because by the time I dropped the airplane off, I felt like I already had a head start on the install, which is always a good feeling. After checking out the plane, we pushed the plane back into the hangar and there were a ton of other airplanes in the hangar, including two other Bonanzas, which was awesome. Then we went inside the office and something that was really cool was they already had my radio stack put together. So I got to actually see some of my Garmin avionics for the first time, which was super exciting and they looked so good. At this point, I was definitely procrastinating saying goodbye to 2-1 Charlie, but I knew I was leaving it in good hands at Neil. So eventually I did wave goodbye and Graham and I headed back to Camrio in his Bonanza. I was so sad to leave the Bonanza, but luckily I wasn't gone for long. I was able to go visit Neil Aviation twice while the new panel was being installed, so here's a look into the avionics install process. Guess where we are? Yay! <laughs> After two weeks, the Bonanza was completely torn apart. The entire panel was gone and you could look through the engine compartment and into the cabin of the airplane. The cowling was open so that all the new engine sensors could be installed for the GI-275 engine indicating system. The wingtips were off to install the new Whelan Orion 650 position lights. And all the interior and inspection ports were off to start installing the GFC 500 autopilot servos. In the office, they had my old panel and also a mock-up of what the new panel was going to look like on paper. Neil Aviation knew that maintaining the feel of my Bonanza was really important to me, so they actually took my old panel, painted it this gray color, and then 3D scanned it to make sure that all of the instrument holes are in exactly the same place. They also took out the piano key switches and started polishing them, and they also took this metal Beechcraft logo out of the engine instrument cluster and polished it to put on the panel as well. I got to see all of my old instruments that they took out of the plane. Some of these will be getting directly replaced, but some will just be sent out to get refaced and then put right back in the airplane. While I was there visiting, the GFC 500 autopilot servos got delivered in the mail, so we got to unbox them and check them out. And just like that, it was time to wave goodbye to 2-1 Charlie again, but fast forward a month later and I got to visit Neil Aviation a second time. At this point, it had been a month and a half since I dropped the plane off and the panel looked amazing. 
So the last time we saw the panel was, I think, three weeks ago. Neil has transformed it completely into almost what it will look like as the finished product. So on the left here, we have the radio stack. Neil went ahead and put in all of these new switches at the bottom. And then we also have the Garmin USB-C ports down here. We have three Garmin 275s in here. The 275 on the top is the attitude indicator. Then we have the HSI 275. And then over here, we have the engine indicating system, which I am personally the most excited about. We still have the airspeed indicator, altimeter, vertical speed, and turn coordinator. Neil also went ahead and redid this entire lower panel here. This was painted green and was like not only super hard to read, but also just like looked really not great beforehand. And now it just looks super clean and all of the circuit breakers are super easy to read and they're all the same. So it just looks and just feels way better. And then in the center here, we have the Garmin GFC 500 autopilot, which looks amazing. We also got to see a lot of the progress outside of just the panel itself. The wires for all of the EGT and CHT probes had been installed. We got to see the autopilot servos being installed. And just look at this wire harness that Sean at Neil Aviation put together. This looks so much better than the spaghetti wire mess that was behind the panel before, and I know it's going to make future maintenance so much easier. I am so excited to pick up the airplane once it's finished and show you all the new panel in action. Big thank you to Garmin, Neil Aviation, Whelan, Sice, Midcontinent, and to all of you for making this install happen. As always, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next flight with the new panel.